influx of imported shrimp and Biola Battery is prompting city officials to take action. Fox 10's Anaya Spraggs joins us now live from Biola Battery City Hall. Anaya, good morning. So what are the authorities doing to address this issue? Good morning, Sarah. Last week, city officials signed a disaster declaration saying the recent influx is really affecting the local fishing industry. And joining me now live to talk a little bit more about this issue is the mayor of Biola Battery, Henry Barnes Sr. Good morning. Thanks for doing the interview. Good morning. Thank you for coming down. All right. So first things first, just talk to me about what exactly is going on. Well, over the last 30 years, we've had an influx of the you know, foreign shrimp being dumped. It's just the last few years it's gotten more severe. It's like 700 million pounds at a time they dump on us. And, and you know, they don't have the regulations. They don't have the laws that we have. You know, our guys have to pull turtle excluders, fish excluders. They have a mash law they have to go by and they're checked very frequently. You know, and these kind of things aren't going on in these other countries so they can sell a lot cheaper. They don't pay their labor force like is being paid. There's seafood workers here making upwards of $20 an hour, some of them. And they don't pay near that overseas, you know. And it's just hurting our industry. It's, it's pushed the price down to like a dollar a pound for the shrimp. And then fuel is almost $4 a pound, so, you know, it's not hard to do the math that doesn't work out. Okay, and I know last week you all, as I mentioned, signed the disaster declaration. Talk to me a little bit more about what exactly that'll do. Well, we just want to get the attention of the federal government and we're going through the governor's office. We sent everything to her, sent a letter to her asking her, you know, to declare it a disaster. And all we want is some kind of limitation on the imports. I mean, it's 90% of the shrimp sold in the U.S. is from foreign, you know. And there are freezers all over the country that can't take one more box of shrimp because they've got all this domestic shrimp just sitting there because they can't sell it because it's a higher product. But it's, it's a more quality product also. You can go and Google where's the best tasting shrimp caught and it'll say the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, all right, thank you so much for doing the interview. Thank you. All right. Well, coming up later, I'll have a little bit more information on this particular issue. But for now, reporting live in Biola Battery, Anaya Spraggs, Fox 10 News.